Sculptor Gutson Borglum carved more than individuals into stone. Mount Rushmore was intended to commemorate American culture and ideals, a monument to democracy itself. Thus he chose four presidents he believed best embodied the spirit of America and represented the first 150 years of American history. These presidents were George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Perhaps the most contested presidential figure to appear on Mount Rushmore is Theodore Roosevelt. Many believed him too recent a president to be commemorated in such a permanent manner. Early models didn't include Roosevelt, only Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln. However, the vision was always evolving, and measurements of the mountain showed that there would be room for one more figure. Borglum was a personal friend of Roosevelt and saw the opening of the Panama Canal as an important development that allowed easier travel and trade access to the West. Senator Peter Norbeck, an instrumental individual in the success of Mount Rushmore, was also enthusiastic about the inclusion of Roosevelt. But it may have been President Calvin Coolidge's strong belief that Roosevelt should be recognized for being the first president to protect the rights of the working man that ultimately contributed to Borglum's final decision. Roosevelt's iconic mustache measures approximately 20 feet across, and Borglum, ever attentive to detail, purposely left it with a rough texture, characteristic of the president's rugged American spirit and individuality. On carving Roosevelt, Borglum is quoted as saying, Tell them I'm making Roosevelt's glasses out of the most precious thing on earth, imagination. And so today, Roosevelt's image stands carved high into the mountain, part of the ultimate monument to American ideals.